How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another Stream Elements tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up contests and giveaways with Stream Elements. So what you're going to want to do is sign in your Stream Elements and you're going to go into this dashboard here. And on the left hand side you're going to go under loyalty and you're going to look for contests and giveaways. So first one I'm going to show you is contests. So with contests if you have one already set up you're going to want to go ahead and end it but if you don't have one set up, you're going to see something like this. It's probably going to be something generic and you can fully customize this. You can give it a title. You can give it different options. You can add options. You can have different types of commands that people can type in. So that way they can figure out, you know, which one they want to go and vote for, depending on whatever you have here set for. For the durations, this is going to be how many minutes that they will have in order to be able to put a bet. You can set a minimum amount and a maximum amount of how much people can bet. You can then send a confirmation whenever you know they enter it in chat so that way they know that their vote and everything is now valid and you, know, you can give it a brief description of what the contest is. So once you have that set up then you go ahead and hit create and start. So this is what you're going to have here. It's going to show you the time frame and everything like that. How many people have been part of it and everything so on and so forth. Now once you have that set up then we're going to want to actually go into here which is going to be your editor so this way people can see it on stream so how do you add this in is you're going to click on the plus we're going to go to engagement go to contest and as soon as you have that it's going to show it right here so you'll be able to have that right on the screen for everybody to see that way everyone's able to feel like they're being included so for this, you can have it to where you can hide after 20 seconds. You can uh, it can hide after it chooses the winner. You can have the options to show four or more and so on and so forth. So you guys can kind of mess with this. You can even change the colors of these little background boxes and everything too. So if I wanted to change this, I could change it to purple if I wanted to. And now it's purple. So it just gives you an idea of what you can change it to. Once you're okay with this, go ahead and click on save, click on the little gear thing at the top here, and we're going to then bring it into OBS. So we're going to make a browser source, click add source, and control V to paste it in. And now everybody will be able to see that on stream. Now let's talk about giveaways. So for the giveaway, what we're going to want to do is click on that one. And this one, you'll have a little bit of stuff. As you can see, I've already used it a few times for stream loots, which I love stream loots, by the way. I recommend you guys taking a look into that. But for for the um, for the giveaways, you can set it up however you want for the title. You can give it a description. If you have an image for what it is that your giveaway is going to be, you can set that up. Or maybe you have a video. You can give everyone their first ticket for free. Send confirmations whenever buying. You can do subscriber only, and you can have a certain ticket cost too. So you can have the ticket cost be 20 or whatever you want it to be for that, and then a maximum tickets per user. So you can limit it to one. You can have it to where subs get extra, however you want to be going on with this one. Now, subscribers can also have the ability of having better luck because they're subscribers. This is very common. So once you have this all set up, I'm just going to see if it will let me do it. Cool. All right, so it's going to do the same thing. It's going to show you this time instead of a countdown, it's going to show you a count up for how long you're having this giveaway go. So you're going to have to set a certain time frame of how long you want your giveaway to be and then manually going actually close the giveaway. So we're going to go back into here, back into the editor, click on the plus, go to engage, go to giveaway. And now we have this one where it's going to show you everything on screen. And this will probably show when people actually go and be a part of the giveaway. Their names will probably populate down here. I'm not entirely sure what populates down here, but either the image, the video, or names will probably populate down there. But for that, you can change the background. You can change the accent color. You can have it be timed out. So whenever the giveaway is completed, it will hide after about 20 seconds. And... For the image size, it could be auto, it could be scaled. So it, it's, again, up to you on how you want it to be. I'll just leave it as auto, honestly. Um, but that is pretty much how you get that set up. So I will save this. And now that we already have one browser source, both of these are going to be on there. Now, since I have this guy right here, it's going to move them over a little bit. And then we got both of them showing. 
Now, if you didn't want to have both contest and giveaway to be showing at the same time, you would have to create two overlays and two overlay links. So if we go back into the editor here, this would have to be on its own separate overlay like this, and this one would have to be on its own separate overlay. So it's two separate browser source links if you want to have it to where you want them to be separate. But if you don't mind them being on at the same time, that's perfectly fine. Just kind of move them like something like this. And then that way, if you have one of them already finished and you're not running both at the same time, but you're doing a giveaway at one point and then you want to do a contest later on throughout the stream, then you will kind of be able to toggle them. The other thing you can also do is go back into your editor and you can delete one out if you want to, or you can go into the layers here and you can just click on the little eyeballs because if I go here to the giveaway, it's going to be grayed out. So if I save it and then I go back, it's now not here, right? But if I go back here and I bring it back in, save it, now both of them are back. So you, you kind of have a little bit more control even if you keep them on one of the links and stuff like that. I mean, you kind of have to manually still go in there and kind of mess with a few things, but it, if it's easier for you to do it that way, that's still a workaround for you. But that is pretty much how you set up the giveaways and the contests and stuff like that. It's not too confusing, but if you guys run into any problems, let me know in the comments. You can always reach out to me on Discord or on Twitter. But if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for more educational content to help you guys learn the tech side of streaming, be sure to go ahead and take a look at some of the other content that I have on the channel because that is pretty much all I cover. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for your time, and I will catch you all either in the next video or whenever I'm live over on Twitch. Take care.